speaker is the managing editor of NJ Spotlight. Um, Ingrid Reed emailed me last week and said, we need to be at your program and make a presentation. We have a big project we're about to launch for this November's legislative elections. Um, I think as was referenced earlier, I mean, we usually don't find out a lot about what, it's usually just candidates, what they say, and that's it, it's printed. Um, but Lee has a project and she's hoping to partner with hyperlocal sites with NJ Spotlight to give us more comprehensive and thorough coverage of this year's legislative races. Thank you, Heather. Um, yes, as mentioned, I'm Lee Keogh, managing editor of NJ Spotlight, which I hope you all um, know. It's a, we are a statewide policy site that covers news and policy for New Jersey. And we really only cover state issues. We try to avoid covering too many municipal issues. Um, as I think the speakers mentioned before, the, 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 the poster child, is that the word, word I'm looking for? The, the one thing that nobody generally covers is the state legislative races. Um, they are generally overly um, controlled by the county parties. And um, municipal elections, you get to cover the hyperlocals and local weeklies co cover that. And the statewide state issues are usually covered on uh, gubernatorial or presidential. But the legislative races, there's very, very little information on. And most of them are pretty much controlled by the party and controlled by the, 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 the county. So they're gerrymandered. But there are 40 districts. I, don't, I wasn't here for Patrick's. Um, early discussion, but there are 40 districts and there are going to be 240 candidates. And so we have developed a tool and we have, um, we're hoping that you will participate with us uh, in this tool. Um, we've developed a tool that we are going to cover every race and we will have at least one news story of every race and obviously the ones that are contested and that are going to be, have some action will have a lot more than that. But Basically, using um, software that's called uh, from a company called E the People, and I think you may have seen if you're from South Jersey, Philly.com uses it, um, Boston.com, Boston Globe uses it. We have created a tool in which we have put. So far, we have somebody pretty much working full time at the moment. Um, put information, biographical information, on every candidate in both the the uh, Senate and the Assembly. And um, we're hoping to launch it September 21st. Uh, we've sent out questionnaires to all the candidates. Um, we're hoping that they basically have to come back and, and put their answers in. We came up with about seven questions that we think that the, the candidates are going to have to face. So they're going to have to make decisions in the legislature about. So this, we've asked them about vouchers, and charter schools, and transportation fund, and the big state issues that they're going to be voting on in the future. Um, we're partnering with um, WNYC, WHYY on, on this, and we want to partner with you as well. Um, so what we're going to, what this tool will include is biographical, I've got a handout, so if you don't, you know, please take it, but it's going to include the uh, biographical information on all the candidates, the legislative races, um, candidate contact information, the responses to key questions, the links to the ELEX forms that um, Joe talked about earlier, um, links to voting records for the incumbents. Um, the, the League of Women Voters is working with us on, on this as well, and they have information guides on you know where to find your polling place and things like that. Um, you know, a hotline for people to call, and we'll have, we'll have that information on there. Um, the links to the political committees. We're also going to be running news stories. Now, we will write, write at least one story on every um, race, but we're hoping to link to all of your stories if you do write them, and as well as other, other stories. So I have here the contact information. We're going to try to monitor that, but in some cases we will not. It'll be difficult. So if you've, if you've written a story, a nonpartisan story on a state legislative race, Please let us know. I've got I've got the contact. Let Colleen um, O'Day, who um, is working is the full time uh, person on this project, know because we'll be putting the links on in that. Um, we also both w uh, the AARP and League of Women Voters plan to uh, video some of the debates on these races, and we'll put the video up of the race of, of that, and uh, we'll have a map of each district and other information that we find pertinent. So. Um, we're going to 
you know, work on that. We're to, we are happy to create, I, I call it a widget here, but it's really an icon that has your logo and our logo on it um, that you can put on your site, or if you just want to put a text link, that's fine with us too. If you want that logo to fit in your site, whatever, by the or the size, please contact um, Aaron Fisher at NJ Spotlight, and he'll have the designer work something up for you. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And if you have any other questions, my contact information, Rikia, was on there as well. Best way to reach me is email. Uh, but we're really hoping we get participation with this. I know um, we're partnering with a lot of people, and our, most of our partners have expressed interest. I know that um, NYC is very excited about this project because it's some way that um, people who uh, usually get no coverage at all, you know, um, you'll get some information about them. We're also going, one of the big issues with getting candidates to respond to the, is, is to hound these people to get them to respond. In the past, the, the Eagleton Institute tried this, but they really didn't have journalists going after people and you know, calling them and saying you haven't responded and shaming them into it. Um, and we plan to do that. Uh, you know, and if they don't respond, we will have eventually, right now, uh, in, the, in the prototype, it doesn't launch now, it just says candidate has yet to respond. But if it gets to be mid-October and uh, a candidate hasn't responded, we're going to change that to say, you know, just something that will shame them a little bit more in responding to the information. Um, and we'll call them. And I know one of the parties has said that they will also, and I'm hoping the other one will, will just, uh, the, the PR guy that's in charge of all the things, he said, I'm going to get them to, I'm really going to make them respond. But it, because we, we know, it's, we also know it's time consuming for them. <clears throat> and we'll have a link to the League, League of Women Voters is also, has a different questionnaire, and we're going to have a link to that questionnaire as well on the site. Now, when you, when you give them seven questions to answer. They can answer it how they want. I mean, Questions? 
sounds, sounds like a great idea. Great. So please contact you know please contact us for the for the links and stuff. So thanks. Thank you.